Good morning, my name is Paul Nowicki. I'm the managing partner at Wind Tactical. Uh, Wind Tactical is a manufacturing company located in Orchard Park, New York, and we're a key supplier to Accuracy International, a uh, manufacturer of uh, precision sniper rifles throughout the world. Today what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at a new piece of equipment we've purchased from Syracuse Supply and talk a little bit about uh, the activities that took place to ensure we can deliver a quality product on time for accuracy. We work with Syracuse to Supply because the technology that we currently had uh, really wasn't capable of machining a piece this long. And we also knew that our uh, spindle RPMs in our existing machines was only 12,000 RPM. We wanted to go up to 15,000 RPM, which would help reduce the overall cycle times. Part of the design philosophy was to minimize the number of parts that were going to be used to assemble the rifle. And one of the main components of that rifle is this frame. In most other rifles that they've built to date, there was usually two or three parts associated with the frame. And in this case, they've come up with a one-piece design that's going to allow them to reduce the cost of the rifle. And it also increases the rigidity of the rifle frame. So a few things they did uh, with this particular frame is the rifle barrel sits low in the frame and that helps reduce the recoil. The frame is also designed to take weights along the side, which again will help reduce any recoil that you get after firing the rifle. Most of the material is now made out of 7075, which is generally a pretty strong aircraft grade aluminum. It increases the stability again of the frame, which results in a more accurate uh, rifle. In our experience, we've used Syracuse Supply for all of our machines. Our shop is exclusive to Syracuse Supply and Dusons. And being a small shop that we are, we've relied on their expertise, their manufacturing engineers, to help us design a process which A, was robust, and we would yield one finished part off every cycle. So their engineers have been working for the last several months to help develop a process to manufacture this. And we're just about in the prove out phase and we'll be expected to take delivery of this machine within the next month. One thing I kept in mind while designing this process is I tried to keep the, the tools short and very close to the work. The part itself is very close to the fixture and the tools are as short as we could have them so that we don't get any chatter. So it is attached to the tombstone, and the tools are, I think, longest, maybe six inches long. So everything is very short, stubby, and the rigidity is held not only with the fixturing, but also with the tool holding, work holding. It gives you a better finished product. You're not chasing your tail trying to figure out why your finishes went bad. You get better life on your tools. Your finished product is just better at the end of the day. Okay, here at the machine, we've got our uh, Coma fourth axis that's integrated into the machine as the A axis. It works, um, is completely integrated as if it was an XYZ axis. We used a system that utilizes a ball lock from Jurgens, and what this does is allows us to have multiple fixtures that we can load the part onto the fixtures outside of the machine and bring the fixtures in and load them onto the tombstone. With these ball locks, we can keep the concentricity between our positioning and our fixtures will load up into the exact same position from one fixture to the other fixture to the other fixture and the part will locate exactly where it's supposed to. So our parts will come out exactly the same size every single time. The time savings between the operator trying to fiddle with the part in the machine is saved because now he can spend his time loading the part onto the fixture outside of the machine and all that the operator has to do is throw a few simple fasteners in here with a quick turn of a T-handle, he can put his part in, shut the door and press the go button. So 
So without Syracuse Supply, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have gotten this far this fast. Uh, they've been fantastic in terms of a machining supplier, and that's why all the machines at uh, Wind Tactical are Doosans. So between service and, uh, and the quality of the machines, we've been very, uh, very happy with them over the years.